Today I'm going to teach you the three movements in your body that every single golfer needs. So we're going to cover those, I'm going to give you some really simple exercises to help improve all of those really key movements. So we're going to start with rotational and we're going to start with something that I call, or the fault, that I call the frozen shoulder. So if I took a setup to this golf ball, I've just got myself a seven iron here. The frozen shoulder for me is when in the early part of the goal swing, this trail shoulder, so my right shoulder, doesn't move enough. So why is it such an issue? Well, where's the club got to go as I swing? Well, we know it's got to go back and it's got to go up and it's got to go a little bit behind me. So if I take a setup and I don't really move the shoulder well enough, I'm going to start to move that golf club where it needs to go with my hands and my arms. And what happens then, if you pay attention to my trail arm, is we get all sorts of different movements in that trail arm. If I take my lead hand off, just look at that trail arm, overly flexed far too early. I've lost all the width that I kind of had at address. So I'd love you to try this little drill. Take a golf club, place it across your shoulders, and just place your right hand down as if you're kind of holding a golf club. And you can see how my trail arm is relatively straight at this stage. Now I want to feel like it stays relatively straight and I want to feel as if the distance between my hand and the grip of my club stays the same. So to move my hand, I move my shoulder. So I'm gonna be taking my right shoulder and moving it. And you can see how I'm taking this relationship and just rotating it. So my arm is moving, therefore the club would be moving but it's moving because of what my upper body is doing. It's not moving because of what my arm is doing. And that is so, so key in the early part of the golf swing. So here's what I'd love you to do as a little exercise to get the rotation really good away from the golf ball. Take an address and I want you to very much feel as if your right arm stays relatively straight until the club reaches level with the ground. Now, there is a little bit of flex in here. It's not locked. And the reality is at this point, it will have started to flex a little bit, but the feeling here, the drill and the idea is to keep that arm relatively straight. And what it will do is it will basically force this shoulder to start moving. And we start to get our rotation engaged really, really early. Rehearse the first move away. There's that width, there's that shoulder moving, up and swing through. Lateral, this is our next point. Now, if you're wanting to strike the ball well, especially with your irons, and you do because the enjoyment level just goes through the roof when you really strike it well, we have to be striking the ball before we hit the ground. Great players do this, all great players do this. So we need a negative attack angle, ball turf. If you want to strike the ball better, lateral has to be in your goal swing. Lateral is basically how much you shift towards the target in your downswing. If you're struggling with strike, I'd almost guarantee that you need a little bit more lateral. The majority of golfers that I've coached over the years are quite surprised at how much you need to shift. Have a look here, on the left, my left, your right, Adam Scott, look how much he's shifting from setup all the way through to impact. It's a huge amount. It's that shift that allows the club to land target side of the ball. Without that shift, you're just always gonna struggle, that's the reality. So here's a little exercise, really, really simple. I've got a tee, I've got an alignment stick behind that tee, and it is around, or about what it is, two club head widths back behind it. I take a setup to that tee, and I've got another alignment stick, which is around about a hand width outside of my lead thigh. This is the setup I'd love you to go ahead and do. Now in your downswing, you're gonna be going hips towards stick, and then after that, you're going to be going belt buckle onto stick or as close to the stick as you can. So it's the lateral, which is what causes it to hit that, and it's the rotation which pushes the belt buckle onto that. So we go good turn, shift across, weight into the lead side, push the belt, land the club. You can see where my ball was, it was right by that tee. You can see where my divot is, I've hit ball, I've hit ground, I've got that negative attack angle. And the reason I had that negative attack angle is because I had a good amount of lateral shift to my goal sink. And finally, the last move we're gonna talk about is vertical, upwards this way. Now, this is only really good if you want more distance, better quality strikes, more consistency, all those kind of things. We all want those, so you need to have some vertical in your goal sink, especially 
if you've videoed your goal sing and you've seen any kind of horrible looking movements, you know, post impact, elbows kind of separating, cramped, flippy, it's very often because you're missing the vertical element. So vertical is basically you pushing away from the ground. Now we need that because you can see here, I'm sort of flexed forwards, I'm chest down at the ground, a little bit of knee bend tilting from my hips. But as I go through the ball, I have rotation. But as I'm having rotation, I also want to have some vertical, which is me pushing myself up into this really nice tall position. So I've got an alignment stick, I've pushed it into the ground, the angle, not super important, but we need it so it's around about you know, thigh height in the middle of my stance. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my setup and I'm gonna pretend I've got a golf clip in my hands. I'm gonna put in my lateral shift. And as I'm putting in my lateral shift, notice I'm actually getting a little closer to the ground. So lateral shift closer to the ground. Then I'm gonna move my arms down and I'm gonna grab the alignment stick. Now I'm gonna go through to my finish. But because the alignment stick is pushed into the ground, I have to remove it from the ground. There's two ways I can do that. One is correct, one is incorrect. The incorrect way would be to remove it by pulling this way. The way we remove it is by rotating and using my knees, my hips, and pushing and extending. So this is what the drill would look like. Normal setup, good backswing, shift, grab the stick, and then through to a finish. Just watch how good or how well I can strike a golf ball I've got it on a tee, that does make it easier. But I can absolutely get this right out the middle, I can land the club, I can get a divot, I can do all of the things that I want to do and you want to do. But right through the ball, I'm gonna do a bit of a preset here, way to the left, through the ball, 100% guarantee you that I was pushing away from the ground. I was adding the vertical in. You will have heard this before, but I'm gonna stress it again. Do not stay down through the golf ball. Do not keep your head down for the golf ball. Do not try and hit down on the golf ball with the handle or the club head. None of those things will help you. They're things that got spoken about and coached years and years and years ago. We now know better. The best players in the world through impact are vertically pushing away from the ground. And it's that that gives you the room where your arms can extend into this area. It would be almost, not quite, but almost impossible to hit bad golf shots if you can get good rotation, good lateral, good vertical. It makes the golfing so, so much easier. So let's see if I can actually go ahead and do it. 